It's Eric back in Naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Let's talk about stomach growling, all these noises that you commonly get here, you know, away from food. What the heck is that all about? Does that mean you're hungry constantly, that you always got to eat food? When people feel sensations in their, in their stomach, the stomach's higher up because most people pull their stomach down here. When people feel sensations there, they think it's bad. You shouldn't be feeling things there. And when you feel this sort of growling noise, it means you need to eat food right away because you're hungry. This is a common misconception. This is generally not what's happening at all. Most people don't have any clue at all what hunger pains really are in comparison to what we're going to talk about in a minute. To have real hunger is not really a stomach growling sensation at all, okay? You only have to talk to someone who's got no food, who hasn't had food for a long time, to talk to them about what hunger pains are like, right? So that growling noise that you're hearing is commonly referred to as what we call the migrating motor complex, or the MMC. So these are wave-like peristaltic actions, okay? So it's basically your nerves moving the muscle around in the small bowel, the smooth muscle, are being contracted. They can, it's a sweeping-like action to clean the digestive system of contents between meals. So we can learn a lot from this. When we have this MMC, this growling sensation, it's actually quite a good thing to have because it means that you're, you've got house cleaning going on. So interfering with that and dumping food into your digestive system all the time when you get this growling, is actually not a good thing to do at all because you're sabotaging and inhibiting the MMC. By doing that, you're allowing partially digested food to remain a lot longer in the digestive tract, producing gases and, and you know even toxins. You're allowing certain bacteria or yeast to grow in larger numbers, and this could lead you into SIBO or a yeast infection. So just be very careful not to you know misconstrue that and to think that it's a hunger pain because it's not at all. So when you get that sensation, rejoice in that, okay? Many people I see who have constipation is you never really feel that MMC. They're always drinking different types of drinks or taking things to get the bowel working. Whereas the best thing often with constipation is to wait and wait and wait, drink more water and wait a while, the MMC will kick in, okay? And especially if you've got good levels of beneficial bacteria, uh, the MMC is very effective, I find. Uh, when you've got a three or four level of the lactobacillus and bifidobacteria uh, and you've got a healthy balanced microbiome the mmc is very active and especially if you notice you have very good bowel motions at regular times so a good way to keep the mmc working effectively is not to constantly snack on food throughout the day every two or three hours like some people are told with blood sugar problems it's not a great idea the best idea is to have regular breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sort of around about regular times. Uh, and if you are going to snack on something away from food, in my opinion, fruit is a good thing to snack on here or there. So there you have it. That's that growling sensation, okay? It's the body's housekeeping. It's cleaning. It's sweeping the digestive tract. It's what your gut really needs, especially if you want to live a long, healthy life. You need a healthy MMC. Thanks for tuning in.